Hello, hello internet and welcome back to this Shopify Hydrogen SEO series and in today's video we're going to look at how to customize the Shopify products URL. Well, if you are um, familiar with Shopify, you probably know that one of the common complaints merchants have is that it's quite tricky and difficult to customize the URLs of the storefront. Let's say for example you were running an e-learning an e um, uh, your, 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 basically your website, the products on your website are e-commerce, uh, um, e-learning courses. Instead of products, obviously, you'll want that to be courses, right? But the good news is, if you are uh, on a Shopify um, Plus plan, you can use a custom storefront built with uh, hydrogen, and this will enable you to put whatever you want here on, on the URL. And that obviously, as we all know, is fantastic for SEO. So let's, without further ado, let's see how we can customize this products page URL. And instead of products, we, we can have courses here. So let's get, to the, let's get to the code in VS Code. Okay, so by the way, this is, um, this, this, this storefront is uh, the demo storefront that comes uh, with from the Shopify CLI that is scaffolded for us by, by the Shopify CLI. So um, in order to change that, so when you, you run the Shopify CLI, this part is gonna be uh, generated for you with all these routes. Um, so what we have to do, and this will probably be the same for uh, your particular code base, if you already have one, is simply come here in the products here and change here to courses. And that's going to be pretty much it but there'll be one more thing i'll show you so now if we visit this you can see that this url is no longer valid right the products t-shirt is no longer valid but if you go to courses right you see brilliant 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 so now you can see just by that very single line uh, simple change in your code we now have courses here instead of products but there's one more thing to do because if let's say i hover here if i go to the collections page where we are listing some of the products you can see that they're still pointing to the old url right so we have to change that too in the code base because when you're generating the collections um, page right when you're generating if i go to the collections here and i look at products you see that we see have places where we are calling uh, we, are, we are referring to the products actually let me search that globally like this okay search for that globally like that if i search for products like this you see there are still a few places where we refer to the previous name products so we want to change that to courses like this and you have to be cautious right because not all the time when we call these products when you're replacing you don't want to just replace like everywhere where we're calling products products we want to change that to slash add the slash a bit more granular we just, you just search and replace okay so let's do that and then let's also search when the slash is at the beginning. All right, and then let's replace that as well. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. Now, if we go to the front end again, obviously this is an invalid route, and if you refresh this page, you can see now it's pointing to the correct URLs, right? Collections and then courses, you see, brilliant. And that's pretty much it, folks. If you wanna do the same thing for the collections, let's say you had, I won't do that because it's pretty more or less the same thing. It's exactly the same. So if you if you wanted to change the collections instead of that, you can have that, I don't know, learning hubs. And then in the learning hubs, you list your different courses. Very, uh, very same process. So I hope you found this useful. My name again is Junior and I'm the CTO at Lifted Commerce, a group of Elite Shopify Plus developers ready to help if you need any help. So uh, thank you once again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.